Hello everybody and welcome to episode 100 of the Hardcore Vanilla series. That's right, the big one zero zero. See if I can convince editing me to put that in big numbers on the screen. Maybe throw some confetti out. Maybe even give us a little bit of an explosion. Ah, the world gave us thunder. That counts for something. Eh, maybe explosions are a bit much. But, while this is episode 100, the blaze of glory doesn't occur until episode 105. The last naturally occurring Horde Knight. But I would say that this is an important marker, if you ask me. Because this means that, minimally, there has been 100 hours invested into this one series just in gameplay. Take into consideration that it takes me about four times that amount of time to edit each video. I'm sitting at about 500 hours into this one series over the course of the last three and a half months. Truly, I'm honestly surprised at my own dedication. And thank you all for watching all the way up until this point. It's not like we're done here, but still, I'd like to drop a thank you. I'm glad they're A. I've got a bad feeling about this. Don't say that, Shirley. We finally made it to episode 100. I'm glad there's at least a handful of people that enjoy watching this. Now that we have an insane amount- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Darts. Lots of them. Let's go ahead and clear these out real quick. Oh god, my inventory. Also, wow, it is bright in here. What, what is happening with this lighting situation? Look at this. This is weird. Very weird. Well, whatever. I guess it is what it is. We'll just have to get used to it. Let's put more darts in here. I don't have any other aside chest for them, so it'll have to do. Let's see, how's the rest of our nitrate and coal doing? We still have another stack of this and this. So we'll make more gunpowder real quick. Real quick. What are the two collectors doing? Mm. No need to collect them. Good. Gunpowder's still on the craft. Wow. Well, I can make another seven. So we'll do, what, two apiece, roughly? And this one will do more. Actually, before I leave, it might be a good idea to take the gunpowder we have now, crack them open to get the stacks, and start crafting some pipe bombs. Because we're going to want a lot of them. We'll have to see if we can find a way to make it useful. The pipe bomb, that is. On our ladder base. I bet there's a way. We could do it. We could find a way. We could make a way. Let's drag these open. Enemies or singular enemy, surely. You need to explain yourself. Ah, doing too many things at once. First things first. Let's get the stone inside of these so that they'll start cooking. Because we need them to make a boatload of cement. And I mean it when I say a boatload. Several boats. I might even craft a boat just to prove my point. Uh, not this one. Yeah, I guess just not that one. Let's take the rest of these darts, actually. Did I get all of them? I got most of them. Put these away. That cleared out most of the stone in my inventory. Having three of them cooking cement should be just fine. Speaking of which, do I have more of that in here? No. I'm actually lacking sand, oddly enough. Which means I should take mostly four stacks, bring them down to the cement mixers, and turn them into sand. What in the w <laughs> Let's see how long this goes. It's, um, it's not ending. How much? <laughs> Just how much concrete did I go to craft? Oh god. Look at the number here. Negative 227 hours to go. This has been done for a long time. Let's... Uh, let's <laughs> Okay, I'll be back. I get it. Damn, those concrete mixers are pissed that I've been ignoring them. What a fucking sound that was. Holy. Sorry. Pardon my American. That just caught me off guard a little bit. Um. <laughs> Okie dokie then. Uh, back here, we'll make more concrete blocks. And go wrong with them, after all. Now we'll begin the process of... Do I have anything in these? Are they serving a purpose? Not really. But now we'll begin crafting some sand. Jesus. That was awfully intense. There's more of it. Okay, okay, I get it. Okie dokie then. I'm gonna have to do this a couple times, aren't I? Would appear so. Another 700 concrete blocks on the way. Oh, 600. That was close. <laughs> Is this gonna happen with every single one of them? Let's check this one out. No. What about this one? Okay, it was just those two. That's A-OK. -okay. I'm still irritated that two of them got smashed by a screamer. Rude. Okay. Crush sand. <laughs> Jeez. 10,000? Sure. We'll do that. We can do another 10,000 too. Should we? Probably. I mean, that only took about a stack or so. We'll do another 10,000 over here. Screw it. Eh, give it another 4,000. I said 4. 4,000. Get rid of these ones. Jeez. Alright, that's taken care of. Take out the cement itself. Alright. Oh, God. More of them. These things are endless. 
Why, surely? What are the bad feelings about? Because of another screamer? Why? It's still so bright in here. <laughs> it's surprising. Why is it so bright? I didn't change my settings. Now, nah, whatever. I've even turned off my headlamp just to save my eyes some strain. All right, we're going to take an entire stack of pipes. And what else? Plant fibers? That's one of the things. What else is there? Gunpowder? Pipes? Plant fibers? Bomb. Yeah, that's actually it. It's just these. Interesting. That reminds me, should I make landmines? <laughs> Oh man, I want to make a landmine so bad. Hold on, it has to happen. But before that, let's craft, we'll say, we have two workbenches. One of them is crafting concrete. This can craft these 250 pipe bombs. Let's figure out what it takes to make a mine. The cheapest one was the tin landmine. Nails. Also nails, and this one takes springs. The tin one takes the least resources. The cooking pot. Should we? <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna end up blowing myself up if I do this. I'll forget exactly where I put them. I definitely will. I know myself. I know myself well enough. Oh no, do they all take duct tape? Disgusting. Not happening. Back to pipe bombs. What about grenades? Do those take duct tape? Forged iron? Springs? Mechanical parts? Eh, screw it. Pipe bombs. I'd rather just have more explosions. The limiting factor is gunpowder. I did just use 500 pipes, but I can craft those and... They're pretty easy to get. Honestly, they're everywhere. That's why I have multiple stacks of them. But for now, let's put these away. That actually didn't take very many plant fibers either, so I guess I don't have to go and farm that. Which is good. Very good. Let's put that clay away. Anything else that isn't needed. Maybe I should spend the night getting nitrate, perhaps. Might be a good idea. Also, why are my resources split like this? Coal doesn't go in here. I have many, <laughs> many stacks of coal. And nitrate powder in here? What the hell? Take those, just crack these open, I guess. Put them in here. So we're along the lines, I got very confused with my resources and started to mix them up in a not good way. Okay, for now, the crossbow can in fact be removed from the inventory. Take it out when we need it, which is not right now. Probably not any time soon. Alrighty, then this turret has been going to town. It's probably still fine on ammo too, it only shoots two or three times per screamer. And it holds almost 200 bullets, so we're fine. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Now, if I remember correctly, I was just duplicating that tower over here. Which means I need to give this pillar a bit more girthiness. Also, I remember taking damage from the falls here. So I might want to actually rely on that platform. We'll test the fall with the platform and see if we take damage with that. I don't think we will. We now know that falling without the platform is very survivable, but we take about 15 damage. Which means falling here, zero damage. Good. Might as well finish up those upgrades there. Also, I should just start eternally having Grandpa's Learning Elixir active. It's not a bad idea, honestly. I have so many of them. But that means we're going to want to do... Oh, that's... That's a bar. No. <laughs> now I have to beat this up. Damn. That's a crappy misplacement. Ugh. <sighs> Here we are, paying the price for our actions. So I believe the plan is to go about five blocks up. Three, four, and five. I don't know why I upgraded the sixth one there. We'll count over here real quick. Yeah, it's just five up, but I upgraded the pillar a bit further. Mm, whatever. We'll just call it extra reinforcement. Intentional? Sure, very intentional. Get these upgrades done before I accidentally cover something up that I can't upgrade. The last thing we need is a single point of weakness. Then a demolisher happens to get to, causing an entire building to collapse. That is not what we want. This blaze of glory is going to be very, very interesting. Because it's either A, going to drag out a bit, while I kick and scream until they drag me to my death, after I've run out of all my resources, or the alternative, which is that, <laughs> that I do all of this for nothing, and I die super early because of some stupid mistake. Probably something akin to what I did with the ladders on the, <laughs> the last... Uh, Horde Knight. I'm not exactly proud of that, but I'm also <laughs> I'm glad I got it in recording. Because goddamn, that was stupid. But it was also very entertaining. And there go the turrets again, popping off like they do. They are just... <laughs> they're dealing with their own constant Horde Knight of nothing but screamers. Oh, that reminds me. When we do the Darkness Falls series, whenever that occurs, those screamers are a much bigger problem in that game. With that mod... It is almost like its own game, built off the back of Seven Days, certainly, but it is a different breed, undeniably. I think coming out five blocks should do fine. 
Uh, it's already more than the previous one, but it doesn't hurt to have a bigger platform. The zombies... Oh, I misplaced one. Oh, should I? Yeah, I guess I'll get rid of it. But the zombies probably will ignore the platform as is, because they're only going to be stuck inside the drain. The sink right there, that drain pipe. Ooh. I felt that scream in my frame rate before I actually heard it. Hmm, we got a couple of them coming. Master, we are not alone. Yeah, I've noticed. Military man, what are you doing here? Silly, silly goose. There's no bunkers in this town. Also, I love, <laughs> I love how the screamer summons a horde. Everybody's running except for Big Bertha. Big Bertha don't give a shit. She's operating on her own time. I guess Arlene is too. I forgot what I was saying prior. Oh, right. Darkness Falls Screamers. That is an entirely different game once you add the mod to it. You can craft literally everything, including electrical and mechanical parts. I'm out of steel. Crap. Let's get more. Also, have I left anything on Shirley of great relevance? I'm gonna sit still for a moment so she'll stop moving. And then we check her inventory. Oh, explosive bolts. Alrighty. That's perfectly fine. Oh, God. Nope. Oh, don't. Oh. I was too late to see her. No. <laughs> I failed twice. Crap. Is that it? Are we done? No. Okay. Now are we done? I don't see out. I see one in the distance, but that's just another screamer spawning in. Did I hit her? Yeah, I did. Good. <sighs> Big Mama, you, uh, you really gotta work on your timing. Someone invites you to a party at four, you arrive at four. Or before. Oh, wait, I was going for steel. Back to the base we go. Bush. Oh, I have a broken bone. Crap. I let a little couple of those radiated sneak up on me. Big mistake. The broken bone is only seven minutes, so I don't think I'm going to bother crafting a splint or... Anything like that. There's really no need. Ooh, Mega Crush. I should probably check the vending machine inside Jen's place, too. This is where most of the money is going to end up going to these various drinks. Because they're going to be very useful on the Horde Knights if I can remember to use them. One Mega Crush equates to, I believe, six minutes of plus 50% run speed. Did I just hear something? No, I guess not. We'll check the vending machines in here. See what's in store. Well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? That's me, sore eye guy. Guess we can check her stock as well. Doesn't hurt. It's very rare that she has any books worth mentioning nowadays. They're all kind of mid. I suppose I'll just start buying these knuckle books. Not sure I'll ever use them, but I will buy them. Gasoline, always good to take. The rest is ignorable. Shotgun, ooh, exploding arrows. Don't mind if I do. I have to grab more dukes. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere now, Jen. All right, can't sprint. Damn, gotta remember that. No running. Broken leg. Screamer, I see you. Think you're sneaky? You know, when aiming this thing, the crosshairs are actually fairly spread out, but a surprising amount of the bullets actually hit right at the center of the red dot. Isn't that right, Jimmy? So perhaps the crosshairs are only guidelines for after the first shot is pulled. The first trigger, I mean. Hmm. Read these books. What else did I come here for? You're an infection. Hmm. No, no cast. None of it. How's this looking? Good. I'm gonna wait to start crafting the cement. Wow. I am very easily distracted. I just came here for steel. Also, damn, they have been hitting my mini bike big time. Gotta repair this thing. So why am I on this instead <laughs> instead of the Harley? One of these things is clearly superior. I'm just slowly walk my ass over here. There we go. This thing is my new legs. If only you could shoot from the back of these, that'd be pretty interesting. Now to finish up the repairs here. This final layer, bada bing, bada boom, done. Now we have to finish up the rest of this build. Starting with upgrading this, actually. The ladders are pivotal. We need the zombies to think that this is the best method to get to me. And that should take care of it. Now, one, two, three, and then ladder. Yes. We will not make the same mistake twice. No, we will not. Now we need a ladder on the front, like this. One above, come on, there we go. As above, so below. Those ones can stay steel. The rest should be fine as concrete. Just have to craft and blaze our way all the way to the top. Upsy daisy. Oh, something trippy about this visual. Go <laughs> Just, no, oh, man, that's weird to look at. Just going down a tunnel of ladders. Almost done. 
This marks the three quarters point, and then we just have to set up the top with bars. Lots of bars. Because we can't do... Oh, I hurt my leg again. Because we can't do ladders. Ladders will allow the zombies... Wait, actually, no, we could potentially do ladders. No, nah, it'd cause weirdness. Jankiness. We'll be fine with just bars. Maybe. Actually, you know what? This top area doesn't have to be seen through. So I could... In fact, just make it normal blocks so the cops won't even be tempted to spit at me. Yes. That seems like a genuinely good idea. So we'll do it. Ooh, let's see. How about plates? Plates should be fine. Yeah. Plates should be just fine. We'll put something right here. Hold on. On face? Sure. Just to give it a bit of structural support. Do it in the back as well. Just in case I decide to expand. Now we switch it off of the on face setting to standard. Simple. Whatever. Ooh, this is very uncomfortable. I know I have parkour and I can survive it just fine, but man, that doesn't make it any more comfortable at all. I'm not even a scared of heights kind of guy, but... Ugh. 100 episodes of hardcore will make you very uncomfortable with these kind of things. Just gotta make a nice flat surface to hang out on. I don't know why, actually. I don't... <laughs> I guess this is just to block the view of the cops. So they'll only shoot me while climbing the ladder. And I don't really care about that, because then they're stopping the flow of zombies. Which is... <sighs> whatever. Let's get some more plates in the back, so they won't be tempted to shoot from there, either. You know, I could try to make that into a pool of water. <laughs> And then go higher. Or add hay bales, or etc, etc. But this is supposed to be a quick and simple build where we test to see if it even works. So I guess I won't, okie dokie. I guess we're coming down here again. Eh, that should probably be fine. Probably. No promises. Yes, it'll probably be fine. We'll upgrade one more layer with steel. Like this. Alright, that is basically it. I just keep taking little bits of fall. Height? Damage? I, I, my bones. I keep breaking further. Hmm. We have to ask ourselves if we can find any way to make traps useful on this build. These builds. I should do the same thing with the plates over here, shouldn't I? Yes. Because while I'm at the top, at least, I'm going to be nothing but cop fodder. They're going to want to absolutely spit on me like a bunch of pervs. So sadly, I'm going to have to most likely tear down these bars. Yeah. Even though it's kind of aesthetically pleasing, it's like getting to the top of the slide, but then there's no slide. Maybe not aesthetically pleasing. Just aesthetic. Maybe not even aesthetic. It just is. But we've got a few of these blocks to take out. This might take a moment. So I'll be right back after that. It truly is terrible paying the price of your previous decisions. Something that seems like a good idea, but must be adjusted, because it definitely was not. I feel like that's half of my gameplay here. Oh, I want to try this for my horde base. Immediately regrets decision. Uh, how far out did I go with the other one? Two squares, it looks like? Maybe. Uh, it looks about two. I want at least one layer in the back, so we'll do that. Now my bone is fixed. Good. On the plus side, I don't think I'll be bothered by screamers. I... My turrets just killed one. I got the XP in the corner of my screen. But I don't think I'll be bothered by screamers when I'm up here, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, oddly enough, I might see them coming. Just say, let's get one more layer out here. Anything to deter the cops from spitting. I don't know how far they can spit from, but hopefully <laughs> not too far. If I really wanted to, I could replace these with normal blocks and set up some walls going upward. Or I could just make these platforms even bigger. I could, honestly. I believe the concrete could handle about seven blocks in each direction. Maybe more. The question is whether or not that would be in any which way beneficial. Because I'm not sure it would be. No, I don't think it would. So we'll avoid it. For now. Yes, yes, we will. I wonder what would happen since the zombies, when they try to come up at you on a ladder, they push you up. What would happen if I had a top here? If it was sealed, would they just be stuck here, attacking the blocks while I shoot at them? Hmm. I'm curious. I think. Hmm. Therefore I am a wood hatch. I just need to know. I'm going to find a zombie. Somewhere. The next zombie that appears here. Oh god. Face. This way, I think? Yes, that should be fine. The next zombie that attacks me. It's so weird. I, that dark wood is supposed to be when it's damaged. The next zombie I find, I'm going to push up here with me and simulate, figure out what happens if I have something above me like this and they're below me on a ladder. Because I don't know how that's going to end up. We'll see. <laughs> this also makes me curious. 
Oh, my mouth just started having a bit of a tweak. It wasn't moving. But this is, oh, I'm hungry. This also makes me curious, once I get to the top, are they just going to walk off of the platform with me, or are they going to go down the ladder? They'll probably walk off and take fall damage, which means I'm going to have to beware the randomness of when they go aggro after the fall damage. Although realistically, the majority of them probably won't be falling. There'll only be a handful going up the ladder, most likely. This platform is smaller than the other one, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> I should probably even them out just to have consistency. This needs to go out one extra block. Yes, and this needs to be increased by one on either side. Listen, I know it's a waste of resources, but I think at this point we've realized that that's just... Oh, man. That's just what I do. Except for this. This is an actual waste of resources. 100% unnecessary, but yet I keep doing it. Trying to build too quickly. Paying the price for it. Every damn time. Also, I just realized that I have darts on my hotbar. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, if I say so. It's probably from something I did earlier today as well. I just somehow didn't notice. Let's make sure not to misplace. I almost just did. Let's make sure not to misplace blocks again. Even the resources aside, the time being lost is very annoying. Potentially the most valuable resource in this and any game is time itself. Same could probably be said for real life. Let's get my motorcycle out of here. Back toward the base. Oh, what did I just hit? Nothing, I see. Sometimes I just hit bumps that aren't there. It's very weird. Very weird. You're not taking damage, are you? 45%? You're fine. Hey, I heard something. I either heard a screamer, or Shirley has been whispering sweet nothings in my ear. It might have actually been the grass. Never mind. Let's check this turret out. See how it's doing. On ammo. Oh yeah, 148. It's fine. We'll give it a little extra reload. Put it by the fountain. I just like having that thing out here. It's convenient. Alright, let's begin crafting more cement. Eventually, we will begin to run out of steel. And that takes time and effort and a little bit of luck finding the ore and mining it to actually craft as where cement. If we truly get to a point where we somehow magically run through all of this that I've collected over the last hundred episodes, 104 before it begins, then the last thing we'll have to rely on is cement because you can get that everywhere. It's just stones. Oh right, I remembered. I came here to grab out more dukes. So we'll just take another stack out so that I could go back to Jen and purchase everything I want, including whatever's in her vending machine. Now that I'm a big baller, Mr. Money, Bob the Billionaire, I can interact with the vending machines at any point and take whatever I want. We simply have to beg the question, what do we want? None of this, that's for sure. However, moonshine, yes. Coffee, no. Mega Crush? Yes. If I remember correctly, Jen has some ammo as well. There we are. Exploding arrows. Don't mind if I do. 69? Nice. Shotgun shells? I'll take those. As far as weapons go, quite negligible. Nothing worth mentioning. Hmm. A solar bank. I'll buy that. Think I can hear a screamer outside? Or it was the wind? Either way, I'm not happy. Alright. Nothing else that she has is worth mentioning. Which, hey, she can't always have great stuff, right? Hey? Don't, don't, oh, it counted, it definitely counted. Here we go again. Luckily, it didn't count for very much. There's only a handful of zombies. Still, nothing really gained apart from some XP. Speaking of which, now we can max out our perception. Done. Which means the next point goes straight into demolitions. And... Mm, no, I don't think I will be messing with Deadeye. Not unless I can find a damn good sniper rifle, which isn't likely because questing is not... Hey, what in the world? Oh, <laughs> oh the sneak attack. Nice delayed flip, big mama. Anyways, questing is not the objective for most of the rest of this series. Now it is building and surviving. Mostly building right now. Surviving comes later. Perhaps I will go for treasure, because it's kind of like finishing a quest where all you do is drive to a place and then dig a hole. Sure, we'll do treasure. It's simple enough. I also need to eat something. There should be food inside the motorcycle. And there is. Tuna fish gravy toast. Damn. These things give 90 food. What the hell? Why? <laughs> That's a lot. Like, a lot. Not a bad thing, though. You know what? Gyrocopter time. We're going to get that treasure. That's our inventory. Eh, clear enough. Let's see if we can take off before we hit her royal girthiness. And we have liftoff. See the marker right there. Treasure is not that far, luckily. Hmm. After we collect that, we could look around for more treasure. 
It wouldn't hurt. Do that until nightfall, and then potentially go and look for nitrate, because we... Oh, damn. <laughs> I see I left a mark there on the earth, like you do. Oh, crap. I'm getting a little low. Don't hit the tree. Don't... Good. Good, driver copter. And this is about the time where we should be descending. D descending. Don't... Don't hit anything now. Don't do it. Don't do it. Dismount. Did it clean. I'm unstoppable. Just for precaution, we'll get the boy out. Even though this isn't a dig quest, they shouldn't be pestering us every time the ring shrinks. We'll be right back once we've found the pirate's treasure. And here we have our treasure. Time to crack it open. And we got... Not much, actually. Really, not much. Suppose we'll just take it all home, though. We could look around. Is there any more treasure in this area? Treasure. Treasure. I don't think so. The nearest one is... <laughs> probably over a kilometer away. Not great. Not great at all. We could check that trader. Trader Joel. Up in the north. Here's my gyrocopter. Here we are. Actually, hold on. Was that lead? You know what? This is rare enough. I have to mark it. We never really see these things. Lead veins. Out in the wild. Better lead than dead. Now back to the gyrocopter. We could maybe pay a visit to Trader Joel in the north. Get some ammo from him. Other such things. I mean, we still have... Master, we are not alone. 16, roughly. Uh, 15,000 dukes. Not bad. Oh, let's see if we can take off before we get attacked by whatever Shirley's talking about. And we have liftoff. Don't hit the tree. Try going forward instead of up. Good gyrocopter. You're figuring it out. I think we'll just head back home for now. Trader Joel's might be closed by the time we get there. That wouldn't be any fun for anyone. Almost there. It's always tempting to try and land on top of some of these buildings and see what kind of loot they have, but realistically, damn the trees. <laughs> We're gonna have to go up and around those. I don't want to fly into that disaster. I said I, I don't want to. Don't fly into the tree. Oh, oh goodness. That was uncomfortable. And now I'm much higher than I wanted to be. Okay, I guess we're landing on top of the girthiness. This is this is the new route. Oh man, I took damage for that. See, we can't safely touch down. There we go. Go ahead and dismount. <laughs> what an uncomfortable ride. Now that I think about it, wasn't I lacking nitrate? I believe I was. Get rid of these darts. What is normally in my four slot? Med kits. We'll keep all five. Methinks it might be time to go for a bit of a mining run. We need nitrate for more gunpowder because we have an absolute boatload of coal. Uh, over here. Coal. Because there's some beneath our base. When we've been going iron mining, we've also been getting coal. And a few other things. We'll see. Iron and coal, though. But this means that it seems like it would be best to actually hop back on the gyrocopter and fly toward my coal mine. I mean, nitrate mine. Yes, nitrate. Which I was actually just at. That treasure was very close to it. Oh, crap. Oh, this was a bad idea. I shouldn't have done this. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna hit something. I definitely hit something. I just can't tell what. Oh, don't end up in the traitor. Don't do it. We don't need that kind of buggy action here. See if we can't back up and turn a little. Okay, I guess we're going that way. Let's turn to the right. Yes. <laughs> I really shouldn't be allowed to operate this thing. And we have liftoff. Back this way, toward the nitrate mines. We're spending the night in there, trying to get as much as we can because, well, gunpowder is good. If we can make enough pipe bombs, we might be able to just run around on our legs, dropping them at our feet and hoping for the best for later horde nights. Damn, it's dark. Why is it so dark? I think I'm almost at the mine. Um... Is this the proper nitrate mine? No, it says this is the lead one. Back up we go. If we can, without hitting something. Nope, we hit something. Upsy daisy. Come on. Oh, it's so dark. Why is, why is it so dark? I left my headlamp on, didn't I? Didn't I? Oh dear. Here we go. There, there's the nitrate. I see the, I see the discoloration. Okie dokie. Tokyo drifting in the air. I'm just gonna dismount and hope for the best. That's, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Oh, what's up, nerd? Just relax. You too, fat boy. Shouldn't run like that. You might have a heart attack. Now, let's dig a big ol' hole where the nitrate is. Before the sun comes up, we must go down. <laughs> I do love when I accidentally make a mess. <laughs> Almost every time I come out 
from my base to go in mine. I end up creating some kind of cavernous fall disaster like this. A big old hole in the ground. Luckily this time the gyrocopter didn't get eaten up or swallowed by the earth inside the event. So, we're looking at a wind here. That was the morning ring-a-ding-dong, and a more messy than usual hole along with it. But I'll be back for more, of course. I got an okay amount of nitrate, three and a half stacks, but I would certainly like more. See if we can't get our way home without some kind of happy little accident occurring. Oh, don't hit the tree, don't hit the tree. Ooh, 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 ooh. Tokyo drifting through the air works sometimes. Sometimes, not all the time. Really do need to take some damn lessons with this thing. Maybe Trader Joel will teach me how it works. See the vehicle guy? No, I think it's Bob. Bob is essentially the hillbilly, isn't he? Oh man, don't fall too hard now. Gonna tap W a little bit every now and again. Come on down the runway, give it a little turn right over here. Let's just put ourselves at a straight facing point and we're good. Alrighty then. <laughs> I'll figure out how that thing operates completely, someday. But this has been episode 100. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.